congratulations on the film. Thank you very much. Um, it's a story that we know and a story that we, we don't know. What That's was right. the kind of initial spark for you in, in writing this script? Well, you know, I, I'm so attracted by the idea of telling this story um, from the viewpoint of a female gaze. And, you know, if we, if we told this story from a woman's point of view, how might it be different? And how might that journey be interpreted differently at the end? Um, so there were, you know, also the opportunity to tell Mary Magdalene's story, a woman who's been so miscast by history, wrongly branded as a prostitute, you know, or on the other side, the, the lover of Christ, you know, those two camps, we've seemed very unwilling to just view her as a spiritual presence in her own right, I guess. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's been a, 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 a great year for women in film, but also a, a year of change and lots of things happening. I mean, this seems like the perfect kind of movie to put in that, in right. that space. I, mean, I think, you know, this is a really unique moment in time. And for the first time, we are allowing women's voices a platform to be heard, to be believed, voices that have been suppressed and silenced for a long time. And in that sense, there's a huge resonance with this film, I think. Absolutely. I mean, it's, you've got great talent on the screen, but behind the, behind the screen as well, I mean, you've got Lion, Gail Goff, who did fantastic work with Lion, the guys did King's Speech. I mean, it must be great to have those guys part of the project because they've done so much great stuff over the years. I mean, working with Seesaw is just a dream come true. I, uh, I'm very lucky to be able to do a few projects with Seesaw, and they are just producers who enable um, creative people to be the best they can be. Absolutely, yeah. And just to finally ask you about Rooney's performance, because she's absolutely fantastic in the film, as she is in pretty much every single film that she's been in recently. What, did you see her in the role when you were writing the script, or was that I kind of I never see anyone before? in any roles. I'm hopeless like that, but I know that Garth always saw her from the very first as his Mary, and I am just stunned, really, by the magnetic quality that she brings to the role and by the sense of her ability to create stillness and yet be kind of active in that stillness. It's just the perfect, the perfect kind of um, combination for Mary, I think. Absolutely, absolutely. I just, just find out, I want to ask, I mean, it's a sort of, it's a movie that I'm sure a lot of young audiences will see as well, who maybe don't know so. too much. And yeah. else. I mean, is that something that you hope people go to yes. and see young audiences? And I, like would, I would love that to be the case because it's an opportunity for them to experience that history in a different way to the way that we experience the story of Jesus, you know, um, and, and it adds a different and richer dimension, I hope, to the whole story. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey You Guys!